Hello, Assalamu Alaikum. Welcome to my channel, Networking with Nia Jarifin. Here am I again today with you guys to make another helpful and technical tutorial about how to access your desktop folders remotely from your cell phone, regardless of iOS or Android. You can take control over your folders remotely from your cell phone. Also, you can upload and download data from your cell phone and vice versa. The requirement is pretty simple. All you need is, of course, a cell phone, and then it has to be in the same subnet. That means if you have an IP address in your desktop 192.168.1.0 make sure all the devices are within the same network all right without wasting time let's delve into it okay this is my desktop i am choosing the ssd drive drive g i have created a folder here i have named it shared drive there's nothing inside it so i'm going to make a little bit customization properties customize change icon you can do whatever you want so step one you definitely should have a Android device or iOS step two to create a shared drive or folder so we'll have to make sure this is a shared drive I'll hit properties share and then see here I have few options my name and then everyone if I choose my name that will be more customization and I will have to customize it but for now I will choose everyone which is helpful for beginners and for everybody and definitely it will um, leverage simplicity for this video everyone add now you see here the permission is read only that means my cell phone will not have full permissions like uh, reading and writing that means um, uploading and downloading so I would choose read and write share and then done advanced sharing permissions if you see everyone has full control almost like an admin control okay the third option I will have to go to network and sharing center for that I need to go to the control panel I'm using PowerShell or you can simply go to the control panel I'll have to make sure viewed by category and then I'll hit network and sharing center here I will go to change advanced sharing advanced network settings and advanced sharing settings I will have to make sure few things are enabled first I will have to make sure network discovery protocol is on which is here otherwise my cell phone will not found my desktop set up network connected devices automatically it has to be tick marked and then file and printing sharing is on in the public network network discovery protocol must be on same here as well all networks I'll have to make sure public folder sharing is on and then encryption is on that has 128 bit of encryption if I want I can use password protect sharing but then I will have to set up a setup credential let's put it here this is not a mandatory if you want to make it more simple you can turn it off but this is more secure to prevent random people's access one thing if you have VPNs sometime turning on VPN could be a problem but if you notice my Bitdefender VPN is connected but with Bitdefender VPN it has a very good feature for local network access that allows trusted device on the same subnet like my desktop and my cell phone but uh, you will find sometimes difficulties if you have Bitdefender VPN on in your cell phone you might not be able to share your screen into your Samsung or other uh, televisions like screen mirroring because the TV may not have the same feature so some VPN could create a problem but Bitdefender VPN has a special feature for local network access that means though VPN put a mask or shield your devices that hides your device IP address but in this case since my Galaxy device is already trusted so though the VPN is on but still my cell phone can find my desktop now my Galaxy S24 is connected all I'm doing is recording my cell phone's screen from the desktop open phone's screen this is my phone's screen so let's go to my files this is my cell phone's internal storage then I have OneDrive Google Drive network storage I will click network storage and then I will add network storage see I have three options here FTP server which is file transfer protocol that transfers file without any encryption that is ideal for open network this one is SFTP which is a secured file transfer protocol this option adds encryption 
but we are going to do network drive SMBV2 that allows shared access on local networks with encryption. Best for device to device sharing, which is ideal for our case. Let's do this one. Now it is looking for that shared drive. It found my desktop. I can use a username and password, but for now I would choose sign in automatically. This is the exact IP address of my desktop, port number 445, which has been selected automatically. Add. This is my shared drive, which is this one that is empty. So shared drive, I have added it. Now let's test it. Now I will go to internal storage. I would like to move the entire file from my cell phone's storage to my desktop over the network. Move, moving from internal storage and moving to network storage. This is my desktop, share drive, and then move here. This is the shared drive we have created here. I have just moved one file, so let's disregard it. I'm choosing shared drive and move. Now it's moving. Let's wait. It has some giant files, so it's taking some time. Let's wait patiently. I think the transfer has been done. So let's go to my desktop now. See, the camera folder has been moved here and it has all the files and folders I needed. Well, thank you guys. This is indeed a very helpful video and I hope you liked it. If you have any questions, please leave your questions into the comment sections. Thank you.